Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Cafe. My name is Isaac, and we're back. So, last time, we uh, turned cobblestone into lava using our crucible that we have down here in our little slab staircase room. That's what I'm calling it. Official name, slab staircase room. So, we've got our crucible here. It's all above a torch, which is not the fastest thing in the world. I think we can pick that up using a pickaxe without it breaking. At least, I hope we can. I'm going to try it right now, because somebody in the comment section of the last video said that I can actually use... Um, the blazing pyrothium outside as a way to heat it instead of using the the torch and apparently it's a lot faster So I'm gonna give that a try and let's see if it works I don't know why I just made some slabs, but uh, this is what I meant to do There we go make us a pick and let's see if we can break this thing So uh, I've been pretty busy since last episode I have managed to get myself quite a lot more saplings and quite a bit more cobblestone I say quite a bit 12 pieces uh, of cobblestone going through quite a lot of these uh, stone picks cutting out a lot of trees and all that good stuff So we did manage to get this thing uh, oh gosh, let's move all that out of the way. Uh, can we break this? And then just place like the crucible on top of it? We can. Oh god, oh god, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I am very much on fire. I'm just going to put you there and hope that that works and I'm going to leave. Water. Water. I need water. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so I think someone also said that this might cool our body temperature. It looks like it does as well. It's taking us down from uh, from 40 degrees to lower body temperature. So now we're going up again. So that didn't really last too long. We'll try and get out of the sun. Uh, I'm hoping that works. It did say 0.7 Minecraft jewels per tick now instead of 0.1. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go inside. It's, it's scary out there. Flipping eggs. So yeah, we managed to get ourselves a bunch of saplings, which I'm actually going to turn into dirt instead of making into water because we need more dirt at the moment and we don't have that much. We could turn 10 saplings into water or what we can do now that we've got a furnace is that we can turn eight of them into dirt, mix that dirt with an empty bottle to get dirty water and then smelt that in the furnace into clean water, which uh, gives, us a better, gives us more water per sapling basically. Uh, also, what we can do now that we've got a furnace is we can take our pulverized iron uh, can we I think it takes eight of these doesn't it? We need to smelt a few of these up So we'll grab four of you turn you into an ingot and we'll grab another four like this and turn these guys uh, Into an ingot as well And what we can do is we can smelt those up and we can make shears now shears will let us take the leaves straight off of the trees And the good thing is that just like saplings where you can put um, Eight saplings into a barrel to get a piece of dirt you can put eight pieces of um, eight leaves into a barrel and that will give you a piece of dirt as well and as you may have guessed, you get a lot more leaves from a tree than you do saplings from a tree uh, if you were to cut it down using the crook. So, let's get some uh, shears. Like we've got ourselves some oak. Let's go get our bone meal, which is hiding out over there, and we should be good to go. So, we'll head on out here <laughs> in the blazing heat. It's still very hot. Ooh, there's some zombie brains over there. I'm going to grab those because that is dinner. Oh, look at this. Got more bones and stuff as well. So I did also manage to get myself, I think, six more bones since last episode, which was quite nice. Uh, so we should be able to move on with some of the uh, the quests today. So we can probably do this one here as well because we have enough to make a bone crook. So we'll do that in a second. First of all, let's burn me all these guys up. You and you. And then we can just go to town with the shears. Look at this. Oh, yeah. These things are probably going to break in like no time. But hey. We get ourselves a lot of leaves, and the good thing is that every eight of these leaves gets us a piece of dirt, which gets us a clean bottle of water, which is pretty flipping awesome, if you ask me. So I'll take all those, all those, all of these, every single last one of these I would like. And there we go. So we got a stack and a half of leaves, which is pretty, oh, we got more, here we go. Which is pretty freaking cool. So we'll grab all this stuff. We'll head on back to our barrel. And we'll start just loading the barrel up with this thing. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So let's see about making the bone crook. There we go. And quest complete. It is. Nice. Oh, no, it's not. We've got weapons. So we need a bone knife blade and a bone crossbar. So in order for that, we're going to need to get ourselves some more patterns. Now, someone did say that this. Oh, yeah. There we go. So this gets you a pattern cheaper than using planks. So you can just do this instead. So we'll grab two of those. And what are we after? We're after knife blade and bone crossbar. So knife blade and crossbar. I didn't know they were things, but apparently they are. So let's have a look. Is that crossbar? It is. We've got a crossbar. And we need a knife blade, which I think is that. There we go. Nice. So then we go to part builder. And we'll throw you in there. That gets us a bone knife and some bone meal. And then I think we can just do this. Nice. So we got ourselves a bone, a knife, and a bone crossbar. Can we do anything with that? I am not 100% sure if we can. 
Uh, I assume it's trying to tell us to make something. What's it after us to make? Knives can be thrown. So it wants us to make a knife. Um, let's have a look. Um, do we need anything special for a knife? Or is it just... I don't know. Let's have a look. Pickaxe, shovel, hatchet, bodge, sword, dagger. A knife, blade, crossbar, and a tool rod. Oh, okay. Is that what it's after? We have a tool rod, I think. We do. So, let's say we're going to make a knife. We'll throw uh, this in here, that in there, and that in there. Yeah, look at that. We got ourselves 200 durability. We've got a dagger. So now we can do, uh, what's that? Two hearts. No, three damage. We can do three damage to someone. Not the best. It's better than our one damage, I guess. But it means we can do something to people when the zombies come and attack us. We can go out and... Oh, God. Jeez. You could... Oh, okay. Okay. We can throw this thing. That's kind of cool. I just pressed right click there and it just went flying. I'm not going to keep that in my hot bag because I'll probably end up just throwing it everywhere. All right. Let's grab you back. And we'll do this again. And what we can do is we can grab ourselves a bottle of water with our dirt. Craft them together. What do you got? Bibbity bobbity boo. Throw that in there. That should get us a clean bottle of water. And then we can add it to our camel pack so that we don't die of thirst, which is flipping awesome. So, uh, we got all that done. Let's have a look. What is next up on the quest list? We... Oh, did we... Oh, really? You want me, oh, that's a shame. We got to make the flipping thing again. The good news is we can make it out of burn meal. And the good news is if we have a, if this dagger ever breaks, we can make another one pretty flipping quick. There we go. And the last task is armor. Okay, so it wants us to make wooden armor, uh, which is, for those who haven't ever used it, wooden armor is pretty much just useless in every single way. Um, it's, it adds like half an armor bar of protection. It's not very good at all. But uh, we'll, wait for the, we'll wait for this to finish. We'll start smelting up our next uh, bottle of water, like so. And while we're waiting for that to finish up, we will make ourselves some wooden armor. So we'll go with the chest plate, the leggings, the boots, and then the helmet can go in a second. Like that. Kaplunk. Nice. Is this a manual detect quest? It's not. Good. So we could throw all these on. And you'll see that we can't put the chest plate on because we don't. We've got the cow pack on. But you can see it gives us a whopping two hearts, two uh, shield defense points there, which I guess is something. It's better than nothing, but it's not really, not really great. Uh, okay. Oh gosh, look at that. We unlocked a flipping heck of a lot of quests there. What's this? Melting leaves. A task where the player can hand in quest star items. Ooh, uh, oddly enough, if you toss leaves into a crucible, they will melt down into a little bit of water. No, I, I'm not sure how that works either, but <laughs> you don't get much. But it makes um, investing in shears earlier a good idea. Oh, okay. So we can throw leaves into a crucible. I wonder how many leaves into a crucible. Because at the minute, we can turn eight leaves into, um, into a bottle of water. So if we put one leaf in there, that will turn into, so it looks like 10 leaves. So it's not the best, like, trade-off in the world there. You can see this thing's a lot faster, 0.7 millibuckets per tick. Uh, not the best trade-off ever. Uh, we, we get much more out of smelting our uh, dirty water. But at least it's another way of getting water, which is kind of cool. Oh, Jesus, stop with the fire. Gosh. Okay, it's getting dark outside. I think we should go to sleep again. Uh, yeah, sleeping sounds good to me. And then we should probably look at some of the later quests because we unlocked a flipping heck of a lot of quests there. Let's have a look. What do we have? We have. Uh, we've done this one and we haven't claimed our reward. Let's get, I'm thinking, a bronze axe head because we are using a lot of stuff. And I'm pretty sure, can we just do something like this? Can we make a wooden, uh, wooden one of these? Not yet. A wooden tool rod. And then can we just make that into a hatchet? I think we can. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Nice. We've got a hatchet. Finally, <laughs> we can cut down these trees without it flipping, taking decades. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have so much wood, so many trees, so many leaves, so much stuff. It's going to be the best, guys. It is going to be the best. We've, I think we have passed the, the hard hurdle of this pack, and we might actually be getting somewhere. We'll throw these down again, do a bunch of shearing with our shears, which surprisingly had more durability than I thought. They may have, uh, what they might have done is the pack developer might have bumped up the amount of um, uses you can get out of shears because they are very useful, but I'm sure they used to run out a lot faster than this. The, there is something called Invar shears, which are uh, from Thermal Expansion, which add like, um, which have like, they're the same as normal shears, but they have like two, three times the durability, so they last even longer, but, uh, but they're made from Invar, so we'd need to, uh, to get quite a bit further up the tech chain before we can start making some of those. Let's grab all of you. Every last one. 
There we go. Thank you very much. Got some more saplings as well, which is kind of nice. And we could cut this down, this tree down pretty flipping fast because we have ourselves. Is it a bronze top tax? Uh, or a copper? It is bronze. Okay, so we need to get bronze if we want to repair it, which I don't really think we have the uh, necessary tools to do yet. We probably need to get ourselves some form of induction smelter so we can melt um, tin and copper together to get the bronze. All right. Anyway, we've got ourselves a nice, sustainable, well, somewhat sustainable source of um, of of clean water here. Not it's not the best, not the best in the world. There are definitely better sources, uh, I believe. But we've got ourselves quite a nice source. We can fill up our camel pack uh, reliably for quite some time. I think, doing this. And uh, if we want to have iron, which we have done, as soon as you shears break, we have to sieve through a bunch more uh, dust in order to get more iron. But that's fine. That's fine. What is next on the list? Right, we've got uh, a slab furnace, which we have done. We are going to claim... We could take iron, but I'm thinking cold water is nice, but I don't think we really need it. Can um, Cantaloupe seeds? Food's one of the things we don't have a ton of. Um, I don't know, though. Iron or dust? <sighs> We'll take the iron. I like the iron. The iron is currently our source of water, so we're going to take that. We've done this. We're going to claim a... We've. I think we've got pickaxe head, haven't we? We don't. So, what do we want? Do we want pickaxe, sword, or ingot cast? I'm thinking... Ingot could be quite useful. But sword... We've got a sword. Uh, pickaxe... Yeah, we'll go with pickaxe. No, where we go? With, yeah, no. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we'll go with pickaxe. We also got some seared faucets, a casting table, and a full guard cast. We keep getting these full guard casts. All right, we, we got boom, flying through these quests. Um, rice seeds. Okay, so we did get a rice seed, I think, a couple of quests ago for doing something or other. Where did I put that? Uh, do, do, do we have more iron in here? We do. Nice. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. We can make ourselves. We got enough for more shears. That's cool. Um, I'm, oh, there we go. Rice seed. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if we grab a piece of dirt, let's quickly get the next one going. So we have water to fuel our camel pack. Uh, let's get rid of some junk we don't need right now. Uh, you, you. The autonomous activator is very useful. It means we can uh, start sifting through this dirt automatically. And uh, if we get a vacuum hopper, that'll make it even faster. So let's grab you, or even more automated probably, shall I say. Uh, let's do our camel pack again. Thank you very much. And what was I just about to do? I was... Seeds. Okay, so let's go and put you down like over here next to the water we're going to get a hoe so i think we're just going to make a wooden hoe and uh, and utilize the one use uh of it so we'll go plunk i keep making sticks although i'm sure we've got a ton of them left over from when we kept like um putting the saplings in, in the fluid transposer but it's fine it's fine so we'll take you we will plant our rice seed and i think the quest said we need 10 of each was it let's have a look uh do 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 Yes, 10 rice seeds and 10 rice. All right, we'll take you. We'll go again. There we go. We'll do the dirty water thing. I like this. We've got. I like the fact that we've now got a nice way of actually doing stuff. Uh, someone also pointed out that we should probably use planks or sticks instead of logs because they burn for just as long, which is pretty cool. Let's go finish this up because we might as well. This guy here, we've got uh, 500 buckets. So one, two, three, four, five. That sh should be enough, I think. Oh, God, fire, fire. Fire. I don't like fire. <laughs> I was just doing 0%. All right. I think we have the watering can in this pack. We do. So, if we can get this guy, which is just a bun meal, uh, a bowl, and four stone. How much stone do we have left? We have a nice amount. Okay, let's cook up four stone. And let's make ourselves a watering can. We'll do this again. I don't know what you can do with that fresh water. I did make some of it at one point, but it was kind of... I did it in a test world, and it was pretty useless. You, you can't drink it or anything, so I was just kind of like... What? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have no idea what that was about. But uh, this is quite good. We'll take you. We'll go again. There we go. And things looking good. Things looking good. What are the other quests? We've got the rice seeds. Uh, we've got melting leaves, which we are about to finish doing. Metals. You want us to make four uh, iron, gold, copper tin, silver, and lead. So we need four of everything, and then we get hardened flux capacitor and a choice of either an empty hardened energy cell, a leadstone thruster, or an ME chest. And there's also a bunch of stuff over here as well. It wants to start on Tinker's Construct, which is something we should probably look into at some point as well. We'll take you, make ourselves a bowl. And then we should just be able to shift-click this watering can. Nice. 
So I'm pretty sure we need... Do we need water for this? I think we do. Yeah, do we have to like... I'm not sure how it works. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how this works. Do we have a bucket? We do. Let's grab you. There we go. Let's... Is it a manual detect or a submit quest? I hope it's a manual detect. Because if it's a submit quest, it means we lose the water, which is never nice. Uh, do, 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 do. Manual detect. There we go. Nice. Did it... Oh, manual submit. Ah, oh, that's a shame. But we did get our bucket back, which I guess is something better than nothing. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Does that fill up the water can? Nope, it doesn't. I think we've got to go... Uh, I think what we've got to do is... Um, oh, God. Flipping this stuff. We've got to do this again, but this time um, actually put the water down and then use the bucket to pick it up uh, instead because... I, well, I think that's how it's done. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, the, the upside to that, I guess, is that with the method with the dirt, we can only get bottles of water, which are, are good because it helps us survive. But on the downside, we can't actually use them as buckets of water for anything else. So, uh, yeah, I think that's kind of the, the trade-off there. Let's get two more of you going. Don't think they'll stack. No, they don't. Okay, uh, next up on the list is the Tinker's Construct stuff and the Rice Seeds and Night Fights. They want us to fight five of every single mob apart from Enderman. So we can get onto those. I put, I'll probably end up just doing this over time as I fight off all the mobs. But one thing I want to look at now is a stone barrel because uh, before I was looking at making some tools and I wanted to use obsidian. And we didn't have any obsidian. We can't. We didn't have the tools to get obsidian. But somebody in the comment section again uh, told me that you can actually use a stone barrel with lava and water in order to do so. So, what I'm going to do is we'll finish up getting this bucket of water over here. Uh, how are you doing? You're halfway there. One, two, three, four, five. We'll let that finish off. And then what we should be able to do is make some lava. So, in order to do this, we're going to need uh, a couple of things. We're going to need a stone barrel from Ex Nihilo, which is this guy here. It's six stone and some stone slabs. So we're going to need nine stone. We have 12. So one, two, three. Cook all those up. They do all need to be cooked stone. And then we're going to need to get one more piece of cobblestone. So we're going to need another wooden pick like this. And we're going to have to go back to our crucible and get ourselves another bucket of lava, which now that we've got a faster crucible shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We'll take you. And then once we get some obsidian, we should, I think, be able to make ourselves an obsidian pick, which will be a heck of a lot faster than, uh, than what we've had before. So we'll take you. We'll throw our four pieces of cobblestone in there, like that. We will put this down for a second and try and... Does that work? It does. Nice. So we got some water from that. That's cool. And it also doesn't use up the water either, which is nice. So 0%. If we stand here and water it, does it go any faster? Um... I think it's supposed to, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh, look at that. 50%. Looks like it just grows in stages. It doesn't go up. Uh, it doesn't, like, slowly crawl up in percentage. It'll just jump to 100 any second now. Pause for dramatic tension. Come on. Come on. Any, any... <sighs> any day now, maybe? Possibly? Sometime? There we... Nope. That's not where we go. <laughs> Come on. The lava's going to be done before you finish. Really? Okay. Fine. Be that way. Let's go check the lava. Flipping, flipping stuff. How is this lava doing? The lava is pretty much almost there. That's almost done. We'll stand here for a few more seconds trying to finish this thing off. Is this a clean water bottle? It is. Let's quickly fill up our camel pack. Continue with you. Yo, can we burn me all this? We can. Nice. <laughs> well, we'll take that. Okay. We got two more rice seeds. We'll put another one there. And we'll continue on with some more of those in a little bit. Let's do something like this. we got to be fast because we are running out of time. And it's dark. I'm going to go to sleep because I don't want to die. There we go. Whew. Right. Our stone should be finished. It is. Let's make ourselves some slabs. And then a barrel. Nice. So now what we should be able to do is head on outside into a mob-free zone because we went to sleep on time. We'll put our barrel down there, put some lava in like that, and then I think just have water flow over it like this. There we go. Look at that. We got some obsidian and kaplunk. Nice. So now we have ourselves a piece of obsidian. And if we head back into here, uh, I thought I made a pickaxe head, but apparently I didn't. So we'll use our sticks to make one. Like so. Part builder, we were off oh, central table even. Pickaxe head, 
Uh, I think we need a tool binding for a pickaxe. Uh, we do. We need a tool binding, a tool rod, and the other guy. So we'll use another one of these patterns. Plunk. And we got ourselves a tool binding. And then we should be able to just go in here. Go like... We'll make the tool rod first. There we go. We'll make the pickaxe head out of obsidian. If we can. Nice. Look at that. The durability 89, speed 700. So we got a pickaxe head. We got this guy. And then I think we can make this cross section out of bone. Nice. So we'll take that and that over to here. Pickaxe. We'll use the obsidian pick head, the bone binding, and the wooden rod to make a pickaxe with durability 89, effective durability 115, and mining speed 7. Cool stuff. So it mines up to uh, our die in level. And now, if we head on outside and sit back down at our cobblestone thing, we should be able to tear through this a lot faster. We should probably put something like uh, wood over there so we don't break it. Like that. And then we could just sit here and do this all day. And it's so much faster than it was before. Look at this. It doesn't break after the first use. We can get ourselves a ton of cobblestone, which is pretty flipping awesome, which means we can make near infinite amount of, uh, amounts of lava now just by throwing all this into the, um, the crucible over in the corner. And I think with that, I am probably going to call it there for this episode. So we've got quite a lot of quests uh, done. We, uh, we went pretty fast today. I hope it wasn't too fast uh, for you guys. We managed to get ourselves the tools of the trade, all three of those quests done. We already had these ones and these ones done. We were a bit ahead of the game last episode. Uh, next episode, we will probably look into doing the ore multiplication with, um, with the Tinker's Construct stuff. In order to make all of this, we're going to need some seared bricks which require do, 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 this stuff here, grout, which is gravel, sand, and clay. Now, uh, sand and gravel are fairly easy to get. And to be honest, so is clay. Clay's not that bad. Uh, it's kind of fiddly, but it's uh, it'll be okay. So we can go like this to get ourselves a hammer like we had before for the quest. And if we get ourselves some cobblestone and throw this down, this is why I made the pickaxe just now, because we're going to need to get quite a bit of cobblestone. We can use the hammer to break this down into gravel. And then we can use the hammer again on the gravel to break it down into sand. And then we can combine all that with some clay and some... Uh, so we can combine the gravel, the gravel, the sand, and the clay together to get ourselves... So let's just plant this uh, torch real quick. To get ourselves uh, some grout, which we can smell and then use to make the tinker stuff, which we will do next episode. So... As always, guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.